Hello YouTubers, you're back again with Chevron, and I'm going to be doing a discussion on a deck I've been working on lately, which is my Salman Great Sky Striker deck. So this deck has been proven to show a lot of success. I've come first twice at locals with it um, now. Uh, my matchup has been very heavily on both uh, your usual meta matchups and rogue matchups, and I'm... I'm pretty much very confident that this is probably the best uh, best Salaman Great build I've done uh, out of all the builds I've done so far. Uh, the Sky Striker engine with Salaman Greats, uh, a lot of people felt weird at first when I first uh, started putting it together that it might interfere and in the fact with the whole having no monster in the main monster zone to make Sky Striker works. But the way I do my combo setup, it does not interfere at all. And the Sky Striker engine has actually made me win a lot of games I shouldn't have won at all due to like rogue matchups or being locked out due to a like a monster negator on the field, say like your Majesty's Fiend I've had in front of me. Um, I've had uh, Inspector Border being dropped on me and I've just uh, opened Engage, searched the uh, but yeah, Widow Anchor and just turned them off and just made plays normally still. And there was, yeah, against like a Pendulum matchup where I actually start using uh, the Sky Striker side of the deck as bait. And then I just go into like the battle phase and just use evenly match. Or say if they've set themselves up to be hit for a Super Poly, I uh, already made the Super Polys to be able to fend off against um, your uh, Pendulum players. And same with Thunder Dragon, uh, th this deck is very. Um, well equipped to verse Thunder Dragons. Orcus seems to be my easiest matchup yet when it comes to this deck build. I have not really had a problem with Orcus and yeah against the mirror match um I haven't really struggled too much with the mirror match either. Uh, usually just gain so much bonus if I end up seeing a engage mid game or I, if I open it I just choose not to use it and when, when, when it starts to go into the grind game I start using engage to get the free plus as I play. So yeah, um, searching a Sky Striker spell and getting a free draw off it is really big in the Salaman Great deck. Uh, them having card advantage is very dangerous and they become a very big threat once Salad start building a card advantage of that mass. So yeah, we'll go through the, um, the deck. Uh, and I'll do uh, discussions on where cards have helped me uh, as I get to them. But with uh, the Salman Great line lineup, I've stuck to this ratio uh, since pure salads into moving into this um, type of build. I just feel like this is the best ratio um, to be using. Uh, two Jack Jaguars just in case one gets banished, you really need the Jack Jaguar to keep the engine going to be able to hit the grind game, shuffle back your links uh, to be able to keep uh, keep grinding out and just win just because you outwit your opponent in resources. Uh, Lady Lady Debug's there, it's a one card, um, sets up your whole salad build and depending on how strong your actually hand is, she could go pretty nuts with your opening play. Uh, Falco uh, rotates your trap, um, Salman Great Spell and Traps, I have used um, Sanctuary as discard fodder and just reset it off um, a Falco or re-add off uh, Sunlight Wolf uh, many times now. Uh, Gazelle is just amazing. Uh, bring back the three please. <laughs> never happened but still it's never gonna happen. Uh, Flame Buffalo, uh, pretty much the best starter of the deck uh, when it comes to digging out cards because uh, the plus two draw is insane and you get chain block plus a add with sanctuary if it's not ashed uh, but the plus two uh, you possibly can see like if you don't see poly in your opening hand you have potential of um, getting the poly off the draw or seeing engage or like a sky strike as well off the draw as well that could help you going second and can help you going first as well depending on what the field looks like and your hand looks like and uh, spinny and Fal uh, foxy Max both out at three. If you open a Spinny and Foxy in hand, they go. They're a pretty insane duet, and then they'll open big. In, um, they'll open your field really big. Uh, same with Spinny and um, CR Craver. They're very, a very strong in uh, duet as well. When it comes to opening, when it comes to opening up your full Starman Great board. Uh, yeah, the three Sinet Mining, uh, pretty much staple for uh, salads. Uh, so I run the three engage, and my search targets is the Widow Anchor. Hornet Drones and Shark Cannon. Hornet Drones is what makes um, Sky Striker be able to be splashed. If it wasn't for Hornet Drones, you probably won't be able to splash um, Sky Strikers anymore. So, I, I say this now, play this deck while you can if you think this deck is, is in any interest of you to try out. Because do expect the Hornet Drones to get ban um, banned on the next ban list to stop um, Sky Strikers from being able to be splashed and say your Orcus this deck or any other deck that it can uh, that can abuse strikers. So yeah, um, and engage is just a big power play on its own. You 
I, I am playing a spell heavy ba um, base deck. If you get three spells in the grave and you play this, you in this, in in a lot of cases you pretty much end up winning. Cause like uh, the way you um I do I will leave uh both um this uh links for what I've done previously uh in the um description uh below where I've actually shown how to open up with the uh sky striker engine with um salads in your um in the opening in your in your opening hand and uh the other description will be how to just open your generic um salman great board i have tried um to make a tutorial to help you players come into this deck and learn how to somewhat learn how to or uh, see what you're looking for when it comes to opening up your board so yeah and um sky striker i'll quickly try and explain it now but when you go into your bailings off and um your first Salman Great card or first uh, Cyburst card, you don't summon anything to zone he points to. You use engage then. Uh, play your engage, search out uh your Hornet drone, use Hornet drones, getting Kagari, adding back engage and depending on how your um, hand look like if you say manage to get the third spell engraved uh, usually the way you do it is because you've opened a mining or say if you're going second you've opened super poly that could be a way to get that third spell engrave uh, so when you um, use the first engage down uh, you have Hornet Drones in Grave as, they th as the third spell so when you play it the second time you'll be searching say your Shark Cannon or Widow Anchor plus getting um, the plus draw, um, draw off it and uh, so you'll have the Bailinx and the Kagari sitting underneath the Bailinx and then you just link them to off into the Sunlight Wolf allowing you to use Widow Anchor to um, get the steal out and probably use their monster as link fodder or just sit there to get damage through then link off afterwards so, uh, and yeah and that's how that main the main way I've been using the combo or say if I'm going second and yeah they drop a Majesty Fiend or Inspector Ball or, or Paula in front of me I just search out the Widow Anchor turn it off and make my plays normally afterwards uh, three Cosmic Cyclones uh, I reckon it's it, it Salads is in a position where Hand traps don't really hurt the deck as much. You can usually push through combo because they have so many extenders. Uh, the main hand traps that do hurt the deck ca cannot be called by Graved anyway. Like you have Nibiru, you can't stop it. Um, the one you'll be seeing a lot is Impermanence. Again, you can't stop it. So I just feel like Cosmic Cyclone is just a better way to go. Hobbs going second because you can you just remove threats on the field so you can. Um, make your plays normally or just bait, bait out crescendo bait out your opponent in a mirror match opponents are uh, raw and uh so it helps with that and when you're going first you can set it and you can use it as a interruption play on those continuous um continuous effect spells and traps to turn off their doesn't outright negate but because they f have to follow the continuous spell ruling if it, if they're removed during chain they don't get the they don't get to resolve their effect so it's good interruption as well uh so three super poly um i've i'm very anti-meta with the blowout with using super polys it has helped me many times it's made me win many games i just say sideboard it if you verse a rogue deck where a super poly doesn't work just work on discarding it off the um Phoenix or discard off the silent mining and you usually don't have to um like worry about it as much and you just side it out. It's it's three it's a free um side out target if it's useless in those type of matchups. But a lot of the times if I am versing those rogue matchups I've just been able to discard it and it hasn't really bricked me to the point where I've had to drop the game due to opening it. But I feel like with the the way the meta is right now it is so much better just to main it because this guy, main reason why I am uh, maining it is Violent Chimera. Uh, he's uh, so requirements is a link monster and a Salaman Great monster. You just normal summon a Salaman Great and say you go onto your Bay Links, get the add uh, off your Sanctuary. If they even try to negate stop his effect, you can just chain um, Super Poly to remove him off the field that way and just go into a Violent Camaro and take it's a generic hit to Link Monsters so you can take an Apollo you can take a the BLS you can even hit an Av Avramax if you have to off it and yeah it's just a good out to um, a lot of Link Monsters and against the Mirror Match you just blow out the Salaman Great board by using Violent Camaro and best uh, targets I've found is just Starving Venom, Double Dark, very common in the meta, and uh, Predator Plant Arm um, Drag Stopia. Uh, so this card's helped me a lot. Uh, it's very good against the Pendulum ma um, matchup. You can hit, um, so if they open Vortex in the dark, 
you obviously just hit, it's the fusion plus one dark monster so you can break board fairly easy just off that or if they decide to open double dark you still have the option to use starving venom and you still have the option to use violent chimera if they uh, open say a jack jaguar with a oh not jack jaguar sorry a jackal king and their apollo setup you can still break board that way so, and it's also helped me against our thunder dragon matchup uh, very big reason Thunder Dragons usually have a um, Dark Monster and a Fusion type monster on the field, so it's very easy to super poly their board. Uh, so, Summon Great spells uh, the one circle, two um, Will of the Summon Great. I will fit a third if I had room. If you can see any cards I may be able to drop out, uh, let me know. But I've gone over this many times with my main board, I just cannot find a way to fit the third one in, otherwise, I would. So, that was my drop target um, in that situation. Uh, the one sanctuary and I play uh, so I play one of each summon great rage and raw uh, mainly because I am not playing desire so I'm not uh, I don't have to risk uh, the fact of banishing it off the um, top 10 banish so I just f felt the need where just playing one of each was enough you search them out anyway when you when you're ready to use them and if your opponent banishes it it's usually yeah bad luck but uh, a lot of the times you have a lot of backups that you can fight through it anyway. And I play um, three um, evenly matched in the main board. Uh, this has been a big devastating card to a lot of people right now. Uh, salads, the way they work, they you can run a lot of blowout cards in the main board and not have to worry about the chance of bricking because they only take a few cards to set up a combo. Uh, so the way I've done um, a lot of the times is say I know my opponent has a way to like negate a spell trap. I will bait them with the engage. They fall for it. I just move to combat and use evenly match and just clear board and just end up winning off there. And a lot of things you can do as well. If you feel like you need to um, bait with the evenly match because your setup could be a lot stronger, if you take out the um, spell and trap, you can do it that way. You lose your battle phase, but if you get enough interruption on the field, you just don't really care. So that's the way I've been using evenly match. It's been very versatile and it's helped me with rogue matchups. This card will delete your rogue matchups like crazy. Like, I've been in a lot of rogue matchups where I should have lost, but I uh, ended up drawing into evenly match or opening, and it just turned the battle for me, and I just ended up winning off it. So yeah, that's uh, my d discussion on the main board there. Uh, so, with the rogue matchups, it's been, it's been very, like, it hasn't been very hard, in a way, so a lot of them has been like, uh, so your sub terror or say, uh, your uh, floodgate type decks. Um, it hasn't really been like really annoying opening up the super, super poly because I, I say I've always been uh, able to discard off the mining and phoenix and the deck itself with the sky striker arm engine really helps me pushing through those rogue matchups as well and they've helped big time when it comes to versing um, my meta mat matchups. Just the amount of threat sky striker itself opposes to a lot of decks. Your prey it really makes your opponent double think on well, should I negate this? What should I do now? It puts them on the edge, and Salman Greats on themselves are very strong. And uh, let's finish the extract before I discuss um discuss any more. Uh, so I play the three um Bailings. The one Kagari. I only need Kagari. She is a fire type, so she does not interrupt with the Salman Great link up at all. Because you, after you've used the Sky Strike combo, um you just link away with Kagari anyway into the Sunlight Wolf, and then you just make plays normal afterwards. So it has not changed how I make my play except for that one small step where before summoning anything I'd use Kagari into Silent Wolf with the Bailings and then just normal summoning great plays afterwards. Uh, the one Phoenix um, I don't really need uh, Cerebus or anything like that. Uh, two Helio, now we cut Helio. Uh, he's really amazing. Uh, he's he, he can push for OTKs and he's very strong against um, Pendulum's back row decks. Being able to shuffle away um, those spell trap zones is a really it's a very hard neg on your opponent just for summoning a link monster. So yeah, uh, just always run him. Even if you run him out, if you, even if you cut him, run out one at least because he will save you in a lot of situations. Um, this is my le um, rank f uh, link four choice. Is my Bolo Dragon. Uh, you don't really need um, Bolo Sword. It doesn't really come up much. My Bolo load will come up a heap. There's a lot of situations where you should um, you should have lost because they put a boss monster where salads don't usually uh, they're not they don't usually uh, have a way to deal with like very big attack monsters with um, insane protection against whatsoever. Bolo kind of says I'm gonna attack you and I'm gonna take you and I'm gonna attack you with that card instead, and he gets you out of a lot of situations where you should not be able to win.
and he has come up a lot of times. He's probably my out of the main salad cards even when I played pure salmon greats he was the main non salad link monster I would always go into and he's always been great. Uh the one Mirage Stalio uh it's it's good at one. Uh don't if after you resolve the first you don't really need to go on to it the second time. Uh one's enough. It's just there to get whatever extender you don't have out of your decks um at the point. If you don't have Gazelle out you bring Gazelle out. If you don't have Jack Jaguar out you bring Jack Jaguar out. And yeah uh, you don't really need to go into it a second time. The only, the only reason why you'll do it as twice is if the first one got negated or he actually becomes a part of the plan to break your opponent's board because you can shuffle him back to re-go into him to get his bounce effect to go for the OTK. That's the only two ways I'll ever go into a second one and you just shuffle him back if you ever need to anyway. Uh, and yeah, my choice of um, my super poly targets are there. So yeah, um, I hope this helps people out. Uh, you definitely should try this um, deck build out uh, before ban list. You probably won't see Sky Strikers being able to be splashed after the January, January comes um, out. A lot of people do suspect um, Hornet Drones to be hit to stop the splash altogether. And yeah, uh, comparing this towards a pure Soulman Great deck, uh, yeah, I just think this version is a lot better. Uh, a lot of games I should have lost um, if I played pure Soulman Greats. Uh, because of not having the access to Widow Anchor or just a Sky Strike will line up to be able to get around like just shitty things that I shouldn't have been able to win against. So yeah, um, I'll probably be sticking to this build. Uh, I've got a um, big tournament at my locals coming at the end of this month uh, where the top 16 players will battle out for um, good prizes. So yeah, I'll probably, sp uh, even though my locals uh, do watch these videos, um, yeah, I just say come at me. I'm bringing this deck in and be prepared because if you're not, I'm going to be bringing it. And yeah, that's all I got to say to them, but still. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It would help me heap um, to have those <laughs> subscribes. So yeah, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for your time.